Hello friends, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn the VLOOKUP function and try to understand this important Excel function with the help of animation and an example. Before moving ahead, let us know what is VLOOKUP function. A VLOOKUP is a formula to match data from two lists and retrieve the matching data. Suppose you have two data sets and need to match data from one table to other table. Then instead of moving from one data set to another data set and retrieving the matching value manually, you can use the lookup formula to automate this process. Let us understand the VLOOKUP function structure and parameters. A lookup function needs four input parameters to work. First one is lookup value, second is table array, third is column index number and the last one is range lookup. Let us understand all these input parameters one by one. Lookup value is what you are looking for in other table or range. Table array where you are looking the value. Table array always start with the lookup value column. Hence the range of lookup value always start from the column which contains the lookup value and goes to right. Any column exists before or left side of the lookup value column. Those columns will be out of scope for this function. Column index number. What we want to return. It's actually the column number from where we want to retrieve the corresponding value. Range lookup. Do you want to retrieve approximate matched value or exact match? This is optional parameter and approximate matching is the default input for this. For approximate matching, you can pass either 1 or true. And for exact matching, you can enter 0 or false. Now let us understand this formula with an example and animation. Here you can see that a table is having four columns, country, inventor, invention and year. This table has 10 rows including column header and the range of this table is A1 to D10. Here the name of inventor is given. What we need to find is the invention done by the Alexander Graham Bell. To find the invention done by Alexander Graham Bell, we need to apply VLOOKUP function and pass all the four parameters which we discussed earlier. As you know, the first parameter is lookup value, then here we can pass either the cell reference number of inventor or we can pass the inventor's name directly. Here I am passing the inventor's name in double quote as a lookup value. The second parameter is table array. To decide the range of table array in given table, we need to find the column that contains the name of inventor. You can see that column B contains the inventor details. Therefore our table array starts from column B and goes until column D. Column A is before the lookup value column, hence it will be out of scope for lookup function. Here our table array is B1 to D10. Let us pass this range B1 to D10 as a second parameter in Viduka function. Now we need to identify the column index number that is third parameter of this function. As we have to retrieve invention done by Alexander, we need to identify the column which contains the invention details. Here you can see that column C contains the invention data. Let us count the column number from beginning to end. As column C contains the invention data, the column number 2 will be the column index number. Let us pass this number as third input parameter in VLOOKUP function. Now we need to pass the value of last parameter that is range lookup. As you know, we have two options for range lookup. First one is exact match and second one is approximate match. Here we are looking for exact match, hence we will pass 0 as an input for the last parameter. Now we have already passed all the required parameters to this function. Let us understand how this function works after that. 
as soon as you enter all the required inputs vlookup starts searching the lookup value in the given table array and find the matching value for the same once it will get the matched value then it picks up the corresponding value from the column number which we have passed as a column index number and display the value as output so you see that how easy is to apply vlookup function and retrieve the matching value that's it for today hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share have a good day